Hello guys, my name is Gabriel and this is Grid Time 3, Unit 1. In this lesson, we are learning how to describe people. In activity number 1, we learn some adjectives. Can you, re can you repeat with me? Caring, friendly, boring, serious, cheerful, funny, intelligent, cool, confident, easygoing. Can you use those adjectives to describe any person that you know? For example, uh, my mother is very caring. On page 13, we read a text. Who do you admire most? And together with the, uh, that text, we have some vocabulary exercises. On exercise number 6, on page 13, we have to match words from the text with some definitions. Can you help me out? Now, I want you to do exercise number 6, matching the words with the definitions. And then, after you do the exercise, I want you to check your answers. Now, pause the video and do the activity. Now, let's check the answers. Number zero is done for us. The definition is a person who is always doing things. Well, that person is an active person. Number one, a person who is usually happy. Mm, let's see the options that we have. Creative, positive, laid back, brave, cheerful, charming, and talented. Well, um, a person who is usually happy is a person who is cheerful, I think. A person, number two, a person who is very easygoing. Wow, a person who is very easygoing is a person that I think is laid back. Number three, a person who has very original ideas. Mm, let's see. I think that person is very creative. A person who looks for the good in all situations. Well, that person has a lot of positive thoughts. That person is very positive. Number five. A person who is very good at doing something. A person who can sing well, a person who can, who can draw well. I think that person is very talented. A person who doesn't get scared easily. Well, that's definitely not me. And a person who is very easy to like. Well, I think that person is charming. Let's check the answers. Wow, that's it. We did it. Now, guys, let's go to activity number one in Think Values on page 13. Let's think about someone who is not famous. Maybe someone from our family, maybe some of our friends, but who we think that person is very special. Can you think of anyone? For example, I can think of a friend of mine. Well, I can describe that person using three adjectives. We can use adjectives that we learned from this lesson. For example, well, my friend Junior is very positive. He always thinks about positive things in any situation. Well, 
uh, he's also very, very creative. Uh, when, whenever I need help, he gives me solutions. He uh, hands me, uh, lends me a hand to solve all situations in ways I didn't expect. And he is also very brave. Once there was a spider in my house and I called him to help me out with that. So, now that you've thought about that person, I want you to describe that person. Use at least three adjectives from our lesson. Now, guys, I want you to go to page 14 on your books. We are going to do a grammar activity. We are going to learn about the present perfect with just, already, and yet. Well, I want you to complete the sentence with just, already, and yet. And then you're going to complete the rules below. Okay? Now I want you to pause the video and do the activity. Guys, let's check the answers now. Item number one. She is blank. Come back from Papua New Guinea. Well, I think it's just. Item number two. They haven't made any recordings, blank, but they've, blank, attracted lots of interest. I think they haven't made any recordings yet, but they've already attracted lots of interest. Let's check. Well done. Very good job, guys. Now, can you help me understand why we chose those answers? Let's see the explanation together, the rules. In the present perfect, we often use mm, item number one. What do we use in negative sentence and questions to talk about something that hasn't happened, but that we expect to happen soon. It comes at the end of the sentence. Wow, what did we use at the end of a sentence? Well, in item number two, they haven't made any recordings we chose yet. So, for the rule, we use yet in negative sentence and questions to talk about something that hasn't happened, but that we expect to happen soon. It comes at the end of the sentence. So the answer is yet. Rule number two. What do we use to emphasize that something happened very recently? It goes before the past participle. Hmm, let's see in item number one. She's just come back from Papua New Guinea. We used just, so the answer for I, uh, rule number two is just. And let's see rule number three. What do we use to show that something has been done or finished sooner than we expected? It usually goes before the past participle. Again, in item number two, we used already to to show that something has already happened before what before uh, we ex even expected. So the answer for rule number three is already. So answers. Yet. Just. And already. That's it for today, guys. We've just finished part one of Great Time. 3 unit 1. Soon we are going to study together part 2 of unit 1. Take care.